These days, we all know it's politically incorrect for children to play games like cowboys and Indians, especially considering this is actually a little cowgirl. And not only that, but these children are playing a game that's recreating the genocide of Native Americans. Excuse me for speaking out, but Australia is already overwhelmed by American culture. So, if you're a mom and you're organising a children's party where the kids want to play dress-ups, then why not celebrate our proud Australian heritage and play colonial boys and indigenes? The first thing you need to do is couture the colonial boys' outfits. Patterns are available in books like this one of children's fancy dress costumes. They're easy to make, so enjoy taking the time to get it right and you'll be rewarded many times over. You'll also find a pattern for their hat, which is simply made from an ice cream container. Then, with some white pants and black socks and shoes, the little darlings will be ready to defend the land. Now for the indigenes. Once the children have chosen who'll play the baddies, it's time for some face painting. Remember to use an acrylic paint that washes off easily. It'd be awful if your children looked like this permanently. Don't they look adorable? As you can see, you don't need to worry about patterns or sewing for these outfits. Just grabbing anything that's lying around will achieve the authentic attire. And to finish the ensemble, I asked Todd to whip up these adorable timber guns. Aren't they darling? And as we all know, little boys love playing with sticks. So you're best to let the indigenous fend for themselves. Off you go. Have a nice time. Bang! So there you go, parents. An Aussie game your Aussie kids will love while they learn. My turn. Timmy, give that gun back to Caleb. You know you should only have that stick. Bang! Kids.